Hey guys, it's Tola here. I'm back with another video. Today I'll be sharing with you guys my DNA results. I did not receive this kit free of charge for the purpose of reviews, but I did receive this kit for the purpose of studies conducted by 23andMe in research study. A little bit of a backstory. So over the last recent few years, I've been interested in taking this DNA test because from a scientific point of view, I'm interested in knowing genealogy and also because I get comments from people saying I look Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Mongolian, Kazakh. So I wanted to know whether I have any of those blood. As far as I know, I think I'm fully Mongolian and we'll see. If you don't know where Mongolia is, or if you've never heard of Mongolia, where were you in your high school? Anyways, so Mongolia is a landlocked country right in between, bordered by Russia and China, where the descendants of Genghis Khan and his tribes. So last month, while I was browsing through the internet, I came across this Reddit post by a Mongolian person who said that they took this DNA test for free by a company called 23andMe, and apparently it's a very popular company in America. 23andMe has been conducting a research called Global Genetics Project and uh, the purpose of this study is to help diversify their gene database and boost studies in populations that are underrepresented in genomic research. Well, the post was three years ago, so it's, uh, it's not recent, so I wasn't really sure whether the study was still ongoing, so I went onto their website to check uh, if, uh, if the study was still ongoing and uh, so fortunately it was however Mongolia was not in the list of eligible countries so I didn't know what to do so I just decided to go ahead and fill out the application and just send it and guess what? a few days later I actually received the free free sample in the mail I'll show you how it looks like So this is what came in the mail. This is not the actual box, but there was a bigger box that had the prepaid shipping label on it. So uh, after filling with uh, your saliva, I put it in inside the box and sent it back to them. So for me, producing this much saliva, it wasn't a really big problem because... I'm, I'm, I'm such a person, you know, my mouth, my tongue, like everything is in like water, like sea or whatever. Like my saliva is always like sea. I'm like... I'm like drooling, you know. Well, for my husband, on the other hand, he had to smell apple cider vinegar to produce like saliva. And I know it sounds gross, but it does the job, so. And three weeks later, three weeks, oh, okay. Three weeks, three weeks later, okay. Three weeks later, I got the, <laughs> I got the results. I got the results in, in the, it, it, it didn't come in the mail, but I got the results online. It wasn't that the impressive results, but here we go. You go here to the Ancestry tab, you'll see that, well, you see my result. <laughs> View your Ancestry composition. Click here, and ta-da, here's my result. So, it says that I am 75.7% Mongolian Manchurian, so it's here, right here, this red. Um, Mongolian is uh, Mongolia is up here and China is down here. So it says that I'm 70.75.7% 70 70, Mongolian. I believe it's Mongolian mostly, not Manchurian. And also it says that 7.1% Siberian. So this uh, light pink, light reddish pink. This um, this part is Siberian. Siberia and I'm 7.1% Siberian and broadly Northern Asian 3.3% so broadly Northern Asian would be around right around here and I'm also 1.6% Korean so I believe it's through maybe through China and after that I am 0.6% Chinese uh, I believe it's mostly the Northern Northern Han Chinese, Han Chinese, because it's closer to Mongolia, which is where I'm from. And um, after that, it says broadly indigenous, broadly East A East Asian and indigenous American. I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think I have any genes uh, from indigenous America, but it could be that indigenous Americans share the same genes 
as uh, Mongols and East Asians. So in Central Asia, it says that I have 8% uh, Kazakh genes. Specifically, it points me to this uh, region. It's, a, it's a, called Almaty. It's the old capital city of Kazakhstan. Uh, actually, as a fun fact, I've been to Kazakhstan, sp specifically to Almaty, four times because uh, I had to, I guess I had to participate in like a math competition and stuff when I was in high school. And after that, uh, this one is a funny one because it says that I'm broadly European because I, I don't know anyone in our family who's European. I mean, except my uncle, but he wasn't blood related. So, and the trace ancestry says that I'm 0.2% Western, broadly Western Asian, Northern African. So it would be this purple, dark purplish part. Uh, maybe the Mongol, maybe the Kazakh region people, like they, they had these genes and Maybe through Kazakh, I got this gene, I believe. Lastly, uh, I'm 0.2% British Irish, which is really funny because, yeah, as I said, I don't know anyone in my family who had like any ancestry from British Irish ancestry. Yeah, so that's my that's my um, ancestry composition. And on this website, there are other things that you can check out. Um, the one that the benefit of my test is that I get to see my not only my ancestry reports I get to see DNA relatives I don't want to show it to you guys because it's a uh, probably it's private uh, there are other people on it so I don't want to show other people's names another thing is that you can see your health traits health and traits so based on your genetic uh, based on your Genes, they will tell you the probability of uh, certain uh, you having certain diseases such as diabetes, and it will also tell you whether you have straight or curly hair or light or dark hair. So for me, it predicted uh, pretty accurately. It said I have straight hair, and um, let me see if I can pull out the report right here. So it says that. Chick dimples, 52% uh, chance chance that you don't have dimples, which I don't have. Uh, but my sister, on the other hand, she has the chick dimple. And what else? Dandruff <laughs> says 52% uh, chance you have had dandruff. Yes, it's true. I do, I do get a lot of dandruff. <laughs> it's gross, but yeah. <laughs> and earlobe type it says 83% chance you have deta detached earlobes yeah it is detached earwax type 81% chance that I have dry flaky ear ear earwax yes which is true eye color it says 75% chance of having dark eyebrow eye, dark brown eyes and yeah it's true look at my eyes yeah and what else Freckles, 76% of ch percent chance of me having a few or any freckles, which is true. I don't I don't really have anything. Um, hair texture, 49% chance of having straight hair. So yeah, it's, it is kind of straight. 39% chance of having slightly wavy hair. And 67% of percent chance of having dark brown hair. Yeah, which is true. Actually, yeah, it says yeah, it's true, and yeah, it, like things like this, and ninety nine percent chance you don't have red hair, yeah, which is true. So these things you get these perks if you pay. Um, I guess I didn't pay because I participated in uh, this global genetics research project. But if you were to actually buy the test kit, if you pay hundred more dollars, uh, about hundred more dollars, you get to see these uh, traits and health uh, reports. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, about it. Much for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. We'll be going on a Hawaii trip soon, so more videos will be coming soon. So make sure to subscribe. I'll put a link to the website where you can check whether you would qualify for this genetic test. So 
be sure to check that out as well thank you so much